video we're gonna discuss how the transistor can act as a switch. So we're gonna visually experiment the switching process of the transistor. I have connected uh, NPN transistor DC547 to the breadboard and I'm gonna connect the emitter of the transistor to ground. Let's connect the LED or we can connect, first of all, we can connect the current limiting resistor for the LED 330 ohm to the collector of the transistor. And I'm going to connect the cathode of the LED, shorter lead, to the other side of the transistor. And I'm going to connect the anode to the positive rail of the breadboard. Now let's go through the base of the transistor. I'm going to use a base resistor, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, and I'm going to connect it across the base of the transistor and to a blank spot on breadboard. So we are basically done. Now I'm going to connect two jumper wires. One of them has to be connected to the other end of the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, and I'm going to leave the other end unconnected let's use another jumper wire and let's connect it to the positive rail of the breadboard and let's zoom out a little bit perfect so let's connect the power supply to our circuit I'm gonna use 5 volts so right now our transistor is off and the LED is therefore off it's not turning on the moment I touch the free ends of these two jumper wires the transistor will be acting as a switch and it let the current to flow through the base of the transistor and then to the emitter collector junction of the transistor the transistor will be on therefore current can go through the resistor to the LED and the LED will be on. Let's see. So right now current is flowing through the transistor which makes the transistor on. Then the current which is flowing through the collector emitter junction of the transistor is flowing through the resistor over here and it's going to be limited by this resistor 330 ohm and then it's flowing to the green LED and since the LED is connected to the power uh, our positive rail of the breadboard to the power supply LED will be on simple experiment you can do it on your own thanks for watching the video and have a good day